Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. In your top story, sponsored by Carnegie Heights. Tonight, we're learning more about what led up to the death of the seven-year-old California boy found dead near a southern Nevada hiking trail. In court today, the deputy DA revealed seven-year-old Liam Husted's mother, Samantha Moreno Rodriguez, confessed to killing her child and said that she had strangled her son for about 15 minutes and left his body off of a southern Nevada highway. Hikers found his body on May 28th. Rodriguez is due back in court on August 3rd. Over in the Silverado Ranch neighborhood, police say they believe a five-year-old child died after being left in a hot house with no AC, calling the death heat-related. Las Vegas police were called Monday evening to a home near East Silverado Ranch Boulevard and Maryland Parkway. They arrested the mother, 23-year-old Kamaya Taylor, on suspicion of murder and child abuse. Our 7 at 7 anchor, Renee Semmerauer, interviewed the landlord whom we granted anonymity. The landlord was emotional and says the mother may have had a psychotic breakdown before the incident. My heart goes out to the three of them, the kids as well as her, because they're all victims, I think. The landlord also mentioned receiving strange messages from the mother. How can you do that? Like at 23, she's a kid herself. With two children all by yourself, how can you do that? You know, it's enough to drive anybody crazy, I guess, with no help. Taylor is due in court on Thursday. Also breaking tonight, we've learned a student at Legacy High School died during an athletic practice. That's according to the Clark County School District. The district confirmed it happened Monday evening, sending out this statement that says in part, quote, our thoughts are with the family and loved ones of the student during this time. This is a developing story and we'll bring you updates as soon as we get them. In other news, three former employees have been convicted of stealing more than a million dollars from a private vault. Prosecutors are calling this case an inside job. The vault company was robbed in 2012 and burglarized in 2014. One of the three former 24-7 private vaults workers shouted in court today they got it wrong as the judge read the guilty verdicts. Two of the workers were found guilty of planning and carrying out the robbery and the third of money laundering. The three are set to be sentenced in September. In your weather, sponsored by One Hour Air, no matter the season, no matter the reason, One Hour is here for you. Finally, some much-needed rain in the valley, but as you can see, the conditions were more severe in other parts of Nevada and Utah. Review Journal's James Schaefer gives us a look. Thunderstorms and flash flooding rolled into southern Nevada and southern Utah Tuesday, causing a brief shutdown of State Route 169 in Overton due to flooding. Over at Zion National Park, visitors have been told to anticipate delays as park officials clean up from a flash flood that closed the park in southern Utah. And back in Vegas, showers were reported in parts of the valley, but nothing more than a tenth of an inch. For the Las Vegas Review Journal, I'm James Schaefer. Plus, there's a chance for more showers and thunderstorms tonight. We have temps dropping down to the 80s. And overnight, those clouds should start to clear up, leading us into a sunny day on Thursday. We see highs going up through the weekend with a slight dip on Saturday and a small chance of rain. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. It's a convention and trade show like no other, put together specifically for nightclub and bar owners and fittingly called the Nightclub and Bar Show. Probably the least serious trade show most have seen, even with a red carpet event. With folks trying out the foosball tables, basketball, karaoke machines, and of course learning the fine art of making drinks. It cannot go in like this, so it can't roll in. So I would literally need to have a robotic arm to do it. The show's sponsors announced the nightclub and bar show will change its name to the Bar and Restaurant Expo, indicating a new era for the industry. Here's the latest in sports. Fans can enjoy some baseball and fireworks this week at the Las Vegas ballpark 
when the Aviators host the Sacramento Rivercats for a six-game homestand starting Thursday. The ballpark is offering $2 beer night for Thursday's game, and to get fans into the 4th of July spirit, a fireworks show will light up the ballpark following Friday and Saturday's games. Tickets to the Aviators games can be purchased at Ticketmaster.com. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. Defending champion Bryson DeChambeau is the clear 7-1 to favorite at the Westgate for the PGA Tour's Rocket Mortgage Classic, which starts Thursday in Detroit. Patrick Reed is next at 14-1, to followed by Hideki Matsuyama, Joaquin Neiman, and Webb Simpson at 20-1. to Handicapper Wes Reynolds is targeting Neiman along with several other players further down the betting board. Read a tournament preview with all of Reynolds' selections at LVRJ.com. Now to your health news sponsored by 4M Dental. Love your smile again. Clark County officials are saying there have been no discussions of reimposing a mask mandate or new restrictions on large gatherings, despite the recent spike of COVID cases. The Southern Nevada Health District says they're focusing instead on vaccination efforts. Officials added that 95% of hospitalizations and deaths from COVID in the last three months have been individuals not vaccinated. Now to your entertainment news, sponsored by DiscoverYourNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada. The buffet at Bellagio is returning next month for all you buffet lovers. While we don't have an exact date just yet, the Bellagio's buffet is just the latest to announce its return after the pandemic. The buffet at Win Las Vegas is also set to return soon on July 1st. MGM Grand Buffet reopened back in May, as well as the new Bacchanal Buffet at Caesars Palace. The Wicked Spoon at the Cosmopolitan reopened back in March. In your lifestyle news, sponsored by Get Healthy Clark County, over at the Venetian, Talk about winning big. A slots player won more than $1.5 million. Get this, off a $5 bet. That's according to this Venetian Resort's tweet announcing, quote, we have a winner. Thanks to the lucky symbols lining up on the Wheel of Fortune slot. The winner wanted to remain anonymous. And to be transparent, we do want to let you know the Review Journal is owned by the family of Dr. Miriam Adelson, majority shareholder of the Las Vegas Sands Corporation. And the Las Vegas Sands owns the Venetian. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you have a Roku device, just search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here tomorrow for more 7 at 7. Sleep tight. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.